Do you see that little black wire right yeah. there? Can you get that for me with your little fingers? Hey folks, that fix a guy here. And today I wanna to show you how I fixed my digital scale. So a little while back, our scale broke, but you can see now that it actually works, which is pretty awesome, man. It was one of those things I didn't know if I could fix it, but a little while back it broke. Our daughter's birthday was approaching and my wife really wanted to wear her for her birthday. So, you know, when bro a little fix, it's like, hey dad, do you think you can fix that? And I honestly was just ready to buy one off of Amazon. But I so, said, you know what, let's give it a shot. Like, it's been a good scale, it works really well, and so I just wanted to show you guys how I did that. So come along, let's get to fixing. Okay, so this is our digital scale. This is a Tanida BF 55.9. All right, this is our digital scale. I don't know all the things it does. I just know that it weighs me. So if you folks like this kind of stuff, please jump in here, subscribe to the channel. I'm always doing DIY kind of stuff for your home and I've never done anything like this before, but I'm gonna give it a shot. So we already tried to put new batteries in it and that did not work for us. So now the next thing we're gonna do is we're going to try to take a thing apart. Okay, so do you wanna unscrew these? We could just use the Leatherman if you'd like. It's double screw. Usually what? Oh, the other one. Oh, it's double screwed. Look at this little guy. Working the tools. Good job, dude. How'd you learn how to use that screwdriver so good? Huh? Whoa, Nelly. <laughs> they come out easy, easy as the thing. Good catch. Okay, so I don't really think that we need to be in this side, but let's set all these over here and we'll just get that out of our way. Um, these are the buttons. These are the buttons that do the settings. Okay. And that is not going to help us get in there. So let's switch over here and go ahead and you want to take the screws out of this side? Sure. Okay. Sure, sure, sure. Okay, we got one more right there. Let's have a look inside there, see what we got going on. You are fast with those things, dude. You are taking those screws right on out of there. Look at you, you're working that magic. Who taught you how to use that Leatherman? Nobody. Nobody taught you how to use it? Okay, so we can't get any access to that right there either, dude. Well, let's see what we got here. Maybe if we pop this open, and we'll take these batteries out. And let's take a look here. See if we can remove this cover piece right here. Okay, so I see that this has got these tabs right here. You can see that, but I actually can't get that off. And I don't think that taking this whole piece off is what I wanna do at this point. Yeah, I don't want to get into that because if I take this off, I don't know if I can get it back together. I've never done this before and I just want to see about getting the electronics to work. So let's go ahead and try to pop this cover piece out here because I think it'll come out. Okay. So we got one side. You come and hang out with me? We got two sides. Oh, let's try to do the other side first. Okay, we got one side. Mm. This is just plastic. It should just pop out. 
Okay. Are we going to do that now? Okay, come on. Come out of there. Come out of there, baby. Get out of there, baby. Talk to it, Logan. There we go. Oh, and that's the problem. It twisted up. You see that? Hold on. So you can see right here that one of the leads actually has popped off. And we're gonna have to try to get down in there. We're gonna have to dig this wire out. Can I get down in there? Hey, Logan, come here. I need your little fingers. Logo, come here. I need your little fingers. Little fix it. Little fix it. Oh, you, you came to help me out? I'm a chicken boy. Okay, here's what I need. Chicken. My, I'm a chicken? Yeah, baby. What do I say? What do chickens say? Bok bok. Bok bok. Okay. So what I need from you, do you see this little, come over here. Come over here, let me see something. Do you see that little black wire? What little black wire? That one? Hold on. This one? Hold on. Yeah. Right, right back in here. Do you see that little black wire right yeah. there? Can you get that for me with your little fingers? Do you think you can get that out of there? It's like operation. It's like playing a game of operation. You got it. Awesome, dude. Well, that is super short. I don't know. Do you think we can do that? I bet we could do that. All right, well, let's give it a shot. We're gonna try to we're gonna try to solder that up right there. Oh, I'm going to, I'm going to this one. Okay, I'm gonna run over to Doug's house, my neighbor, because I don't actually own a soldering iron. I've never had to do this, so we'll go get that figured out, and I'll be right back. We're gonna have to take this little black wire right here, and we're gonna have to strip a little bit of it so we can get it soldered onto this little nubby. And little fix it here has just brought me the wire strippers. So, let's see if we can get a little bit of this off of there. Oh, no. Okay, well, turns out these wire strippers are not small enough for this little fine wire. Relatively speaking, this is a huge soldering iron compared to what I'm gonna be doing. So we'll just try to be really gentle and give it just a little touch there. And we'll see. Okay. Um, but right now, I gotta figure out how to clip that little small wire, man. This thing, I think I'm just gonna have to use the knife. Just do what you gotta do here. Okay, so. I don't know, man. Not the greatest light ever here. Sorry. I don't actually know how to make this light really work for what I need to do here. So let's just try to get a little bit of this off of this. Somebody's got a trick for, for, Getting coating off of this little wire, like, let me know. I'd really like to know, because this is pretty difficult. I've never done anything like this before. I've seen my brother-in-law do something like this. He's really awesome at it. And this is just not my thing. But, can't be afraid to try it, right? That's one of the things that I always hopefully show on this channel is that just try something try to fix it yourself i could have easily just got on amazon and bought another one of these but you know what like why let's give it a shot so you can see that we got that off of there right now and now we're going to go ahead and we're going to be able to solder this up hey logan what are we fixing to do solder is that what that's going to do okay we, can you put that knife away? Good job. Thank you. Okay, so this is Logan's bedtime treat right here. 
He's fixing to watch this solder and then it's sleepy town, right? Staying up past your bedtime to watch the action happen. So now I put this C clamp on here because it was moving a little bit and I don't want any movement. I think I've got it tight enough to where it's not gonna move and I'll be able to solder it now. Okay, well maybe I don't have enough um, solder on that. I don't know. I got some solder right here. Do I put some solder on this? Okay, get a little solder on the gun. Okay, well I've completely cleaned that terminal. So, I don't know what I'm doing wrong here. I'm just gonna take this wire and I'm gonna wedge it in there and wedge it right into the place I want it to be. Okay, and then I'm assuming this is how I'll roll with this. Give this a second, let it heat up. Let it get nice and hot. You can see that it's starting to sizzle. So I'm assuming we're ready to rock and roll. And let's see if we can. All right, once again, I can't get it. Okay, so you can see behind me, I went and pulled out my solder kit at this point because something is not right here. I don't know what's going on. This solder actually is supposed to have something inside of it and it totally does have something in it. It's supposed to have the flux already built in. And I don't know, we're gonna clean it off. I'm gonna give it another go. And if not, then maybe I'm gonna try some of my soldering flux on it. Huh. I wonder why that is. Well, one more time. Not the greatest little weld, right? You can see the factory weld and then mine, but it's on there and I might have burnt a little bit of that plastic around there, but it's on. I finally got it to stick. I ended up using a little bit of plumbing solder on there, cleaned it off, and eventually it's stuck. So crazy. If somebody could tell me why that was doing what it was doing, I would really appreciate it. Because, man, this is the first time I've ever done this, and I just couldn't get it figured out. I mean, I cleaned it. I tried it. I know it was hot enough. Um, but who knows a little bit of, a little bit of flux. Maybe the flux is old in that solder. I don't know. Okay. So now we're just going to go ahead and we're going to remove this C clamp. I'm going to go ahead and I'm actually just going to pop this thing back in place. So now that I'm putting this back, you know, I just want to make sure that these two ends don't get broke. So just slide those in first and get this side popped in place. That way that doesn't get messed up. Okay, that's back in. Now that we've got that put back in place, let's just go ahead and put the batteries in and we'll give it a test. It's so funny, man. We didn't even have to take these button sections off or this top section right here off, but you got to see little fix it in action tonight. So that was pretty awesome. And let's just flip this bad boy over. And we'll give it a test. Woo, look at that. Boomtown, we're back in the weight game. Okay. That is awesome. How true it is, <laughs> I don't have a clue. But we'll go ahead and we'll get the rest of this put back together.
Now we'll just start trying to put all these pieces right here back together with all these springs. You get up in here, you can see these springs. They're kind of made for pushing buttons too, right? So we got those little buttons right there. And with that button hits, it just hits that little digital button. So you just got kind of a spring inside of a spring. This one's a little bit harder than this outside one. Pretty cool. It's pretty cool how they made it. And so you just want to make sure that these little cones are face up. Not bad. Yeah, it works. I a little fix it. it took my Leatherman. I don't really have a clue where it is at the moment. And so I'll just grab the extension with a bit and a little makeshift screwdriver. Let's get that all tightened down in there. And we're good and hooked up. That was fixing this bad boy in a nutshell. Like it turned out to just be a broken wire right on the battery terminal, which was pretty lucky, I guess, and pretty awesome at the same time because I don't really know what else I would have done if it was anything different. Like, <laughs> I, I kind of just lucked into all of this, right? Um, but that being said, I've never soldered. I had to go borrow stuff. I don't know if that solder with the flux insert was actually old and it just didn't work, but adding a little bit of my flux actually allowed it to take and it worked out awesome. Now, that solder wasn't the prettiest, but also I think that the solder gun I was using was way too big. So if anybody has any kind of advice for a littler solder gun or like a little kit that I could learn the basics of this stuff, please post a link in the comments. It would be awesome. I'm gonna totally do my own research and find something to, I think I'd like to find some kind of a kit for a little fix it and I to work with. Um, I don't necessarily know he needs to work with a solder gun yet, but it might be something cool. If it was pretty easy and it was basic, I'd give him a couple goes at it, right? Like not a big deal. So I really hope this video helps. If you guys like the channel, please subscribe, share with your friends, click the like button. Um, you know, we're just trying to help people out. We would greatly appreciate everything. Thank you very much. And we hope to see you again real soon.